What's up, friends? We're at Maverick Mansions, designing a new proposal for Dracula's castle in Dracula Untold. After immortalizing the legendary bloodsucker on the silver screen in his smash hit film, Dracula Untold, the Lord of Darkness found himself dissatisfied with his own dilapidated castle in remote Transylvania. Though it had been his family's ancestral home for centuries and served as the backdrop for countless classic vampire films, Dracula dreamed of transforming the crumbling manor into a lavish mansion truly befitting his immense wealth and noble status. So, the Prince of Darkness himself reached out to our team of designers, builders, and architects at Maverick Mansions. In his deep aristocratic drawl, Dracula outlined his visionary plan to reimagine his decaying abode into a palatial Gothic paradise incorporating contemporary comforts and sumptuous finishes. His home would rival the grandeur of royalty while paying homage to his vampiric roots. We were initially hesitant to accept this infamous creature of the night as a client. But Dracula politely assured us that thanks to modern inventions like sunscreen, vampires no longer feared the sun's rays. So we are not limited to darkness. He wanted to fill his new home with light to showcase its magnificence. And with his vast fortune from starring in the box office sensation, Dracula Untold, budget was absolutely no concern. Dracula made it abundantly clear that no expense would be spared bringing his dream manner to life. Intrigued but cautious, our team delved deep into vampire lore, myths, and architectural history to understand the aesthetics our noble client envisioned. We pored over Gothic design trends through the centuries, finding inspiration in the dark academia style popularized in elite universities. With its lush velvets, leather-bound books, candelabras, and dramatic silhouettes, it was the perfect blend of Gothic elegance and classic refinement. Just the style you would expect the king of the vampires to favor. When Dracula extended a personal invitation to visit his current home in Transylvania, we were anxious but arrived armed with sketchbooks, measuring tapes, and cameras to document everything. The bumpy remote carriage ride through the misty forested countryside set an eerie tone as we approached the legendary lair. Finally, Castle Dracula emerged on the horizon, its stone turrets and imposing gates sending a chill down our spines. Crossing the threshold, we were transported back in time. We meticulously documented every detail of the weathered manor house. Dracula eagerly escorted us from room to room, describing his grand ideas for transforming each space. Some areas, like the cavernous Gothic ballroom with its vaulted ceilings, would be carefully restored to their former glory. Others would be completely reimagined to match Dracula's vision for modern luxury. We assembled a hand-picked team of the most skilled builders, stonemasons, carpenters, and artisans. Local workers were skeptical that such a decrepit castle could be resurrected into Dracula's personalized palace. But we were up for the challenge, demolishing whole sections of the original structure to prepare for fresh construction. We combined hands-on traditional techniques with cutting-edge technology like 3D rendering software to design layouts, floor plans, and architectural details. Dracula was impressed with this blend of old-world craftsmanship and modern digital advancements. He admitted that, while very old-school, even ancient creatures need to catch up with the times. The ambitious renovation faced obstacles like inclement weather, delaying critical material deliveries to the remote Transylvanian Valley. Complex medieval construction methods like arched stained glass windows and vaulted stone ceilings tested our team's expertise. But Dracula enthusiastically assisted, leveraging his supernatural control over nature and animals to ensure progress continued on schedule. Our shared commitment empowered us to power through long, cold nights by candlelight to bring Dracula's lavish ideas to life. Seeing the once gloomy spaces transformed into spectacular living areas was the best reward. 
the results were shaping up to be our finest work yet. Soon it was time for the final decorative touches to make this castle a home. We traveled across Europe, acquiring unique antiques and lavish furnishings, hand-selecting pieces that embodied Dracula's noble tastes. Thanks to his generously deep coffers, we purchased one-of-a-kind items from master craftsmen and prestigious luxury brands. This included hand-carved hardwood furniture, ornate metalwork, plush velvet fainting couches, elaborate crystal chandeliers, and giant gold-framed mirrors shipped from Italy. No detail was overlooked, designing Dracula's palatial master suite and private chambers. We instilled the spaces with elegant darkness, like packed bookshelves brimming with rare leather-bound first editions of Gothic literature classics. Rich tapestries, candles, and plush Persian rugs added moody atmosphere. An imposing four-poster bed was custom-built from ebony wood and adorned with crimson silks and the finest imported linens. Adjacent was a spa-like bathroom with clawfoot tub, steam shower, and marble finishes. On the eve of the grand reveal, we gathered with bated breath in the candlelit Great Hall, surrounded by the fruits of our labor. At the stroke of midnight, Dracula materialized out of black mist. He was rendered utterly speechless, gazing up in wonder at the magnificent interiors we had meticulously crafted for him. It was a space finally worthy of the legendary Vampire King. At his lavish celebratory feast afterwards, Dracula praised us for succeeding on this monumental quest to resurrect his decrepit ancestral home into a palatial, gothic mansion fit for royalty. He was thoroughly impressed with our vision and tenacity. For us, the satisfaction of transforming the Lord of Darkness's decaying castle into his dream palace was reward enough. As we return home, we carry this pride with us, along with inspiration for our next great challenge. We have proven that even creatures of the night deserve forever homes filled with beauty, comfort, and light. The mythical Dracula finally has his lavish mansion thanks to the team at Maverick Mansions. Just maybe don't visit on a full moon. Though we were ready to move on to new projects after completing Dracula's sprawling gothic mansion, the famous vampire had other plans for our team. Dracula was so thrilled with the palace we built for him that he referred us to all his elite undead friends who were now clamoring for us to renovate their ancient decrepit castles scattered across Europe. Soon we were contacted by a coven of aristocratic vampires living in a crumbling 16th century manor house in the remote forests of Romania. They wanted to update their home with modern amenities while retaining its historic charm. We then received a letter by Raven Messenger from an ancient Egyptian vampire queen, locked for centuries in her ornate but dusty pyramid tomb. She sought to transform the labyrinth of rooms into a lavish oasis worthy of her status. The requests kept flooding in. A clan of vampires who lived in catacombs under the streets of Paris were intrigued by our work for Dracula. Could we turn their subterranean lair into a dark, modern mansion? We were soon breaking ground on a dozen different vampire renovation projects, traveling all over Europe to reimagine these centuries-old undead homes. While stressful at times, the work was deeply rewarding. Breathing new life into these historic properties and making our unusual clients happy was a constant adventure. We learned each vampire's taste some loved ornate Gothic styles, others favored minimalist modern decor in stark black and white. Our team worked overtime, but the supernatural assistance of our vampire clients helped us complete projects on schedule. We gained a new appreciation for these misunderstood creatures of the night through this work. Even the undead deserve beautiful spaces to call home for eternity. Our small design firm was not prepared for the avalanche of interest from Elite Vampires wanting us to renovate their dilapidated layers. But we swiftly scaled up our operations, hearing more architects, designers, and construction crews. We worked hard to customize each project, 
getting to know our clients personally. For an ancient vampire lord living in a crumbling Romanian fortress, we blended his love of medieval decor with modern tech like an indoor pool and home theater. For a chic Parisian vampiress, we created an elegant, contemporary space with an underground lounge perfect for entertaining fellow creatures of the night. The jobs ranged from small apartment remodels to sprawling compounds. A vampire family moving into a Victorian mansion wanted to honor its heritage while opening up the floor plan. We added secret rooms and passages which the children delighted in discovery. Rather than being frightened of our supernatural clients, we grew to appreciate their unique perspectives shaped over centuries. Passionate debates over design choices were common, but we learned to listen and find creative solutions together. At times, the work was logistically challenging. Sourcing rare materials sometimes required tapping our clients' connections in the underworld. Transporting antique coffins or developing UV-proof windows forced us to problem solve. But the most rewarding part was seeing these vampires feel at home in spaces we brought to life for them. We created not just mansions, but forever homes that would stand the test of time. Though vampires once struck terror in humans' hearts, we learned they sought beauty, comfort, and connection, just like anyone. To us, a satisfied client was a satisfied client, whether undead or alive.